some praise in this place. The Bible says, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name today. Listen, listen, listen. Hold on for a second. You know, a couple of months back, we had a tragedy in, in, in Haiti. And there was a little boy at the age of seven years old, buried under the rubbish, under all this metal and, and all this asphalt and everything. Builders torn down all along. And when they brought the little boy out, he came up with his hands up in the air. So if a little seven-year-old can come out of the rubbish and tell the Lord, thank you. Because of what God brought you, you should be off your feet. Giving God some praise. Come on here, somebody. The God that woke you up this morning. The God that take you to school. The God that keeps you. Some of us in our life support, but we're still alive. Amen. Oh, come on, y'all still don't want me. I said everybody should be off your feet. Giving God some praise.
you never know who's next. And the Bible says, I have the keys to death and hell. You know, it talks about it about how God went down to hell. Say he kicked the door open and preached to the spirits that was already in him. I'm talking about the God that you serve now. Kicked the, he kicked the door open and he went and took the keys. He didn't ask for them. He didn't get permission. He I, I guarantee he probably didn't go politely because I'm talking about a man with all power in his hand. Say so when Jesus died, he went to hell and took the keys. So if you want to live, you speak live and life over your life. You speak healing over your life. If you want to live. Well, so God has the key. Your God has the key to uh, death and hell. Satan does not have it. Don't let Satan take the man over your life. Don't let Satan take the man over your life. Because if you think about it, Satan is bound for hell till God comes. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. None. One, one angel, Satan, Satan was the second out of all of the, all, all of the heavenly hosts. Satan was the second in charge. You had Jesus, then you had Lucifer, which, which was Satan. And they talk about how Satan was a minister of music. And if you think about it, all the music and things that we have going out in this world is Satan's profession. Amen. And so he's going to try to see the world and do everything he can through his profession. So therefore, the music that you listen to, for instance, gospel music, you get a feeling of praise. R&B, you get a feeling of groove. Rap, you get an instinct of let's get, let's get down. It's all in the spirit of that music. And Satan's profession is in that music. So, the, in the same way I minister, the same way the pastor ministers, the same way we all minister to one another, Satan has ministers of his own too. Yes. And they're going to come after you, they're going to keep coming until they get you. So, I'm letting you know that if you're living a saved and holy life, you're going to fight until the day you die. All right. But all you want to say is when you get to God, that God, all God has saved you is well done, well, my good and faithful servant. Right. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be trapped outside the gates of heaven. I want to walk on streets paved with gold. You know, I don't know, and my mother, she tells me all the time, so I son, you got, you got to get there. We all got to get there. I may not be your mama when you get there. Uh, that might be not, may not be your wife, may not be your brother, but as long as we make it to the promised land. I don't know about y'all, but I tell, I tell my colleagues every day, I say, I don't want to see nobody burning in here. I don't want to see nobody burning. So if I have the chance, and if I have the opportunity to minister to anybody, the right way to go. And there is no right way. There is no, well, my opinion, well, my interpretation. No, this is the only way. The only way. This is the complete only way. And if you are not a hero and doer, see, the Bible says be hero and doers of the word of God. We got too many heroes of the word of God. Too, way, way too many heroes of the word of God. Want to know why? Look how many people, look how many cars you see driving out in the highways and byways now instead of being in the house of God. Uh, yeah. Look how many, all these people on crack and cocaine and so forth, just roaming in the streets. Uh, looking for crack instead of looking for Jesus. Yeah. But then when the day comes, and the Bible talks about how before God comes, there's not, there's not going to be one man that's going to say, oh Lord, well, we never 